Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Monster Train. Let's play another run. Two in one day. I know. Who is this man who is streaming and recording Monster Train? Let's random random. Who would I hope for? I would hope for... <sighs> we have not seen the Imp Queen recently, but I hate her. We've also not seen normal Penumbra Umbra. And I haven't won a run with normal Stygian in a long time, but my favorite is Melting. We get Standard Awoken, Exile Wormkin, two Wildwood Saps, two Echo Transfers, and an Ensnare. Seraph the Patient, really annoying, Rally and Encant. Um, ex two Extract to apply plus 15 in your base deck, though. Absurdly good. Top quality picks. And for Consume Regen Sap, I, I love it. This might be a run where we want to go explosive because we have so much good, you know, regen potential here. Although I will say, against Packed Shard Enhanced Bosses, enemies tend to do so much damage that you have to stack up an ungodly amount of regen to keep your champion alive. You know, think about vanilla monster train. How much damage do you take every turn from, from Seraph? 30. It's 10 times 3. That's the maximum damage you'll take from Seraph, as long as it's not Seraph the Patient. So you only need to stack 30 regen to be immortal for a turn on that fight, and then you'll take 1 damage, and then 2 damage, and then 3 damage every turn after that. I think last time we fought him on the last run, he did 18 times 4, so almost 80 damage. We'd have to apply more than twice the amount of regen from a vanilla run in order to stack up enough regen to counteract his damage every turn. That's just too much. So you're only going to get like four or five triggers of explosion instead of like 20. So I think explosion is still a little weak and I still think that maybe the uh, cultivation is better because it's it's damage that stacks every turn as opposed to regen, which will not counteract the damage that you're taking and your unit's going to die anyways. That's how I think about it. And and uh, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. The first time each battle a card with Consume is played, add two copies to your hand. So we could and cheapen these Wildwood Saps and get several out immediately, or have a chance to not consume them. I actually think cheapening your Consumes and having multiple, multiple of them is a little bit better because you want that burst early, I think, in a run, in a in a fight. So, plus 15 regen immediately, it's pretty good. And we could even make it um, double stack. We could get 30 regen, and then maybe we actually can fight Seraph on his own terms. And this is a chance. This is guaranteed. That's my thinking, anyways. I will go for the artifact. Ooh, there's another artifact. This is scary, but I'm going to do it anyways. Double damage spikes. You know what? Spike champ. Womp, 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 womp. Well, <sighs> useless. Now I'm thinking if we have Echo Transfer, we don't need cultivation maybe you do go rejuvenate and explosive and then you just stack up the regen to do damage even though it's not that much damage especially early and even later although for every restore it is bonus damage so you know what sure last time we did cultivation i was hoping for spikes so we could get double damage spikes but we don't get them instead i'm gonna try to explode all the enemies let's do it Bang, 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 bang. I mean, that's already 40 damage, and I can hit him with the Echo Transfer. I'd rather not start at the bottom. Oh, it's way... well... I'm gonna start here. No, because... Oh. 
because we're going to get more saps in our deck once we play one of them, but I don't really have the energy to play all of them. Well, what do I care? Yeah, good point. All right, I'll tell you what. There you go. There's 15 regen. <laughs> That's our first turn. It's kind of exactly what I wanted, though. Apply root. Well, you know what? That'll kill you. Now you're dead. Um, and then I can actually root you. Keep you on the same floor for a turn. Spread out these enemies for a minute. Explode. Sap again. Give you uh, a lot of extra damage. I mean, now we have 20 regen, which is pretty good early. And now you got me thinking uh, or feeling like an idiot because like this is clearly enough that we can very, very easily outscale uh, whatever the boss can do. At least for a few fights, this is gonna be easy relentless. But we really do need the health of our champion to get a lot higher, which is kind of hard to do, because 25 HP is not an insane amount. So we could go even more regen. <laughs> not Bill Murray says, my TED talk will be about how Uncrustables are just ravioli. Well, isn't ravioli just a sandwich? Plus 10, minus two. It's infused, which is why I really like this, because this allows us to more easily play that. But do we need more regen? I mean, we already have two of them. And if I double stack them, then we can have, you know, 30 regen applied basically immediately. I think I like a razor sharp. I do. I think I like an echo infusion. It's not infused, unfortunately, but, you know, if we play a lot of, a lot of restores, then all of a sudden these are pretty good. Bogfly? I'm not that interested in one Bogfly. You steal my charges, but you are a multi-striker. You're a sweeper, which if I make you quick, is very good for dealing with enemies before they even hit my champion. You are a tank, which is not really what I'm looking for, but you're also infused, and you're also pretty good you're three capacity, but you're a 20, 30. Disposable account says, by that logic, the planet is a ravioli. <laughs> um, I don't like shell. Unless you're specifically going into it or you have specific upgrades on it like we had with Capricious Reflection or you know that you're gonna get specific upgrades on it or whatever. It just sucks up the pack shards, not the pack shards, it sucks up the uh, echoes too much. And I actually really wanna play these three cards that require extraction. We can't extract and shell. So it's either Inspire plus two attack and armor two. You can make this into a pretty high damage unit or you sweep and you try to get quick so that you can actually kill backliners backliners before they can attack. Because we can buff damage, I, I'm leaning towards Husk Hermit because I don't need inspiration to buff damage. I have spells that can do it. Husk Hermit's a pretty boring play, but I'm really just looking at the one keyword sweep. And I, I basically always come here first because, you know, it's what you need. Dun, dun, dun. Um, 16, 25. We could technically afford a reroll, but I'm just gonna go for the multi-strike and then I'm gonna look for quick later. But that's a very good upgrade early because of the fact that we do, we have so much damage improvement. And uh, Wormkin unit, I have not seen you to a, in a long time, but Keeper of Echoes is also really good. Glug Cider, I have not seen you in a long time. Extract four, inspire, restore five health, revenge, apply reap five to the attacking unit, 200 HP. 
What do I do with you? <laughs> Extract four glug cider. Inspire, restore five HP. He's a big boy. He's also freaking impossible to play early. You have He's a, he's a bad batter unit because you could draw him on turn 1 and then you have to wait for you yourself to shuffle. I kind of like Keeper of Echoes. Again, a more boring play, but put this guy on the floor with your Husk Hermit and your Sentient and all of a sudden you can heal, gain stats, you know. This we know is also a winning combination. So, as unique and rare as Glug Cider is, you know what he needs? He needs Permafrost. Put Permafrost on this guy and I, I'll take him. But this is not good enough. He's impossible to play. Like, you just, you just can't play him. How do you, how do you, how do you extract four? If you, in the worst scenario, if you draw him, draw him on turn one, what the heck do you do? You know what you need? You need, uh, well, we are awoken. I was gonna say, you need, um, channel song so you can get him back in your hand when you have extract available, but we're already extracting. I think you go Keeper of Echoes, 100%. <laughs> Then do I give you HP? I don't think we need to give you any HP. I think we're just gonna leave. Well, go for another artifact. When a card with extract, yeah, yep, oh, yep, 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 yep. Probably one of the best relics for Wormkin. Period. I love it. Spikes three. Yeah, we can do this. There's only two waves of enemies, so that's only uh, maybe eight enemies. That's only 24 spikes we have to deal with, and maybe a couple of enemies on the last turn. We can we can out heal this. We can handle this. And what we're gonna do is probably probably go on the top floor. Yeah, gives us time to buff and then weaken these guys. They haste. Yeah, they haste. I still stand by it. We'll do this. We'll be Ember Drain next turn, but like, who cares? And then just in case I can get enemies to get through the middle floor, we'll just do it like this. And it also kills that unit. So, heal, explode, kill him. You're doing the most damage. You can explode. You need to get hit. Just waiting for like one consume so I can get four consumes out. But you know what? We can have enemies go through the middle floor. So that buys us a lot of time. And then we can extract, which gives us an energy refund. Infuse. Restore. Restore, because I need you to have health so you can hit this guy who has spikes. And you're doing okay, and then we can buff. It actually gives us an energy refund. More regen, more regen. We'll just spread it out because you're dead. Easy, and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go uh, capacity so I can get the, what is he called? Keeper of Echoes in the same floor as our uh, champion and Husk Hermit. Because I want, I want everyone to buff everyone, you know? Man, that is such a good relic. <laughs> every, it's not its not the first time per, per turn. It's every time you play Extract, you gain energy and Echoes. It's insanely good. We want card draw a million and one percent. With Sweep, I don't think we need Vine Grasp. I don't think we need Steel Enhancer because we actually have a better version of that in Echo Transfer, Echo Infusion. This is way better than Steel Enhancer combined. So I think we skip. I'm 
use consume apply armor. I don't I don't want this. Like I just I just don't want the card. Make me skip. I'm not I'm not looking at whether or not a card has been gilded or not. I'm just like, hey, this is this a good card? No? Okay, well let's skip it. So we could put Keeper of Echoes in Husk Hermit. That would allow the Husk Hermit to buff itself with Inspire, but I like Keeper of Echoes. It can just go out there as a unit. Let's see what we get from the Merchant of Steel, though. We're going to reroll and then hope that we pick up a Quick. I'm looking for Multi-Strike and Quick, but Quick first, so we can get Quick on Husk Hermit. Multi-Strike on Keeper of Echoes would be nice eventually. Multi-Strike times two would be even better. Maybe you just put a Multi-Strike on it, because <laughs> it is it is good. It's a little slow, but... Oh, man. You got me good game, because I don't know what I want to do here. Minus two. Intrinsic. I mean, it's, it's actually tempting to, like, intrinsic a sap. See a multi-strike? Take a multi-strike. It's a very good point. We should probably just take a multi-strike. But here's the question. On who? I want quick. Because if we get quick... Like, our champion cannot survive heavy hitting attacks from the future. From the year 2000. So I think we're going to multi-strike the Keeper of Echoes because it is good. Hundred and ten. Cannot afford... Let's check this out first. I really wish I just had more gold. <laughs> can, can I, uh, can I purge this immediately, please? Please? Please. Also a card I've not gilded, but how do you how do you gild this card? I'll take it. But I really just wanted money. This would be the perfect opportunity for a money safe right there. All right. What do we have? Units, units, money, artifact. So we can wait pretty late to get more pack shards if we need to, because at the very end there's cash, an artifact for combined 25, and then at the final one, it's like 50 if we want. Constructed explosives apply or explode twice. Pretty dangerous. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is, uh, It's 20 damage. I think I'm gonna play you guys at the top floor in this turn. Cause like, I, I just, I don't wanna die. <laughs> I want enemies to be as weak as possible when they make it up. Okay, we need one more before we can play it. We'll do this, then do this, then do this. That'll come back around. Sorry, Keeper of Echoes, but later. I guess Echo Infusion could be used to kill you eventually. Not now, though. Well, we should kill units that might be a little bit more important to deal with, like you. Lexmer says, I'm sad YouTube chat will not witness this great, dis uh, great discussion said right after bubonic lettuce and all cap says wait yeah is a klondike bar ravioli <laughs> amazing discussions well i think damage is going to be okay here <laughs> you're all dead because I do a lot of damage. And we're only taking seven, but I can actually make that taking none. You're gonna haste up? If you haste up, I really don't care.
We're actually stacking up a lot of regen. Early, maybe, we, I don't know, it's 17. Maybe we can go infinite regen. It, it's just weird because early, I know that our regen will be okay. It'll be enough to get us through these bosses, but late, it's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be close to enough. I like that my uh, turns just play themselves. Maybe we should have stacked up double multi-strike because we're stacking up a lot of damage very quickly. Okay, well we got quick now. So now we just need, yeah, we should have taken double multi-strike on this guy because we're gonna make him quick and we're gonna do it with a card. Yo, we, we've got some interesting possibilities here. Like, Inspire plus two and Armor two. Is really good on a Husk Hermit. You're gonna buff everyone with every inspiration. I still kinda wanna have both of these units on the same floor though, I, I like it. We're gonna give all of the multi-strike to the sweep unit, but he's gonna be quick and anyone that survives is gonna get hit by this sweeper. But, taking a unit like a, a carver or even, ah, I don't wanna, if I do that though, I don't want the plus capacity. We could take the shattered shell and then put it on the Husk Kermit, and then the Husk Kermit can buff itself with its own sleigh kills. If we had made double multi-strike on the Husk Kermit, what I would do is I would meld something in the Husk Kermit, maybe Shard Soul Carver, and then that would be my floor behind the Sentient, and that would probably be my only units, but because I didn't do that, because I split the multi-strike, I want both units behind my champion, which pretty much means I'm not gonna meld Keeper, because he, he already has multi-strike, that's a good value, and he, he can buff his own damage, I'm okay with that. So I think what we should do is take maybe the Shattered Shell, put him in the Sweeper so that he buffs his own damage, then again we buff the damage very quickly without it, maybe we're okay not taking those pack shards and instead pack sharding ourselves a little bit, you know, buffing ourselves. I, I don't think we want a unit. It's either take Shattered Shell and meld it or take nothing. Heck, it might even be worth more to put a train steward in him? That can't be right. What's coming up next? <laughs> Get a unit. We're probably gonna go for a unit and then a free artifact and cash. It's gonna be a Wormkin unit. We have an opportunity for getting another Wormkin unit that's gonna meld. Do you have plus capacity? You don't. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, is there a duplicator? No. Duplicator? Duplicator coming up next. So we could put a Keeper of Echoes in the Husker, but eh, again, like plus one plus one is good, but boom. Plus 15, boom, plus 10. Cards are way better than the unit of abilities here. I want units just to have raw abilities, raw stats. I'd rather go Merchant of Steel to get innate quick or um, more multi-strike. Probably not a large stone though. Would we need endless? No, what's the other one? I always forget. I already said it, large stone. Um, I'm gonna skip. Feels like watching a life coach. <laughs> Sometimes I just need to think about it, you know? I don't want a snap decision and then regret it. We're gonna go right. Friendly units are stronger, Pyre is stronger. Probably friendly units, which includes Champion. How much health do you get on the Spikes Path? You'll get an extra 30. you would get an extra 50 on regen path. Because I'm gonna tell you, uh, 
I actually really like spikes to kill weak backline units, but what do I care, now that I think about it? They're all gonna die to quick sweep. <clears throat> what do we got? Spell chain, plus 10 magic power and piercing. Not important. Spell chain is really good on this stuff. Echo infusion, echo transfer. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's real bad though. <laughs> Why is Glare Minder so bad? I guess he's a sweep. He's a rare, rare non awoken sweep unit. Well, okay. Awoken has, has sweep. Uh, the, the Cold Celia has sweep. Glare Minder has sweep. Those are like your only sweep opportunities. I kind of like Kinhost though. Plus 10, plus 10 on summon. We could meld that inside of our Husk Kerm and then it's going to start stronger. It's not good, but like, it's okay. Blob says, to be honest, I us usually play way too fast and probably die to it too often. 68 says, my monkey brain would just pick the shell and dump it into the hermit. Hermit. What's coming up next? We're probably going to go to a Merchant of Steel and ignore the Hell Vent. And then there's two Hell Vents coming up. One here and one here. Well, you know what? There's two... There's, hold on, there's a Merchant of Steel here. We could go left, Hell Vent, meld. Who am I trying to meld? I'm trying to... I kind of want to... Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, right now we could put the kin host in our husk hermit for plus 10, but that's one echo infusion and one, one echo transfer. We have the ability to buff his own damage. We don't need him to have plus 10 right off, right off the bat. We're gonna get that easily. We just need to survive like one turn. We'll play on the top floor or something. We'll play on the middle floor. Well, maybe not the middle floor. I, I just don't see the units being good at all, but you know, we gotta get to 100 pack shards as well. So just to get pack shards, I, I guess I'm just gonna do this. Now on summon, you, you get stronger. And you know what? I guess for, um, you know, to get stronger faster. Spell chain and echo transfer. Now we've got a lot of damage. We need the damage, like that's the most important thing. Spikes four, I'm actually gonna turn this off. Surprised? We don't have the health to survive it is the problem. We're also gonna start up here. I know it's gonna add a lot of garbage to our deck, but. Ah, uh, maybe we should have started on the bottom. <laughs> now that, I, now that I'm, I mention it, yeah. Okay. I can't even play that. I think I made a mistake. I should I should have started on the bottom. I'm gonna spend all my energy clearing garbage. Well, really, I'm just upset that I missed the gold. Okay. Play that. Infuse up. You're actually gonna live as well. Dude, this is not going well. Okay, that's damage, which we need. Nothing else gives us enough damage to kill him, so we're just gonna have to purge cards. We're gonna take another 12 damage. This is not a very good fight for us, not at all. The enemies just have uh, a little bit too much strength. I don't even know what we're gonna do about this guy. We might just die right here. Does a lot of damage, I don't like it. Our regen is not, yeah, we're, we're like, we're not getting through the deck fast enough. I'm just spending my turns constantly purging cards out of my hand. We made it, but only barely. That was terrible. <laughs> 
Store five, 25 health, draw plus two. I mean, I like it. We can make it cheaper later. Soul Crushing Guilt is also um, kind of what we're looking for. It, it is Extract, but Extract cards are easier to um, play. Okay, we, we need to we need to upgrade units. Units get an extra upgrade slot. We're gonna go hard on units now. Okay, well, except for this one. <laughs> we don't need endless. I could buff attack, which actually does make sense. And then re-roll and then look for what we get. Another multi-strike is really good. And then you know what? Why don't you have a little bit more health? All right, so there's our units. Magic power, spell chain. Do, do you go another echo transfer spell chain? I'd rather not. I don't want to get 80 pack shards when I'm fighting freaking fell. You're a sweeper, you're annoying. Armor 15, should not be a problem. 68 says, this is more like what happens when I play Monster Train. That was just like a, it's a bad matchup, but also I should have put two stacks of multi-strike on the Husk Hermit to begin with, probably. That's what I'll say. I mean, we're just gonna do like the same thing. I hope that we don't find, we only, can only play one of those. We keep drawing this card at the wrong time. I hope that the uh, Husk, the Collector spawns on the top floor. Luckily it did. I don't like playing on the top, but we've had bad matchups for the bottom. I think. Should have played Echo Break, would have buffed. Fine. Fine. We also have no consume cards yet, so uh, no heals. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, heal. Now everything's dying, so I'm just gonna go for the max healage. You know what? Infuse. We'll shuffle soon. I have like no damage spells too. <laughs> 25, 35, 45, it's not enough to keep, oh, it is enough to keep you alive. This is, this is going not well. <laughs> hey, there's quick. My cards are just not being drawn on the right turns. You know what, I should have um, ensnared one of these boys, but they're gonna die to the quickness anyways. Death to the quickness. 13 damage. Honestly? Heal you. I mean, I, I need you to have as much HP as possible. I'm healing the wrong unit right now. Or I was. Okay. I mean, by the end of that, we were doing 300 damage per turn with that Husk Hermit, but it just took too long to get there. What do we need? Card draw would be nice. Like, card draw and then start on the bottom so we don't run into energy problems. I keep running into energy problems, which is the problem. Fill empty with full. Infuse, extract one, deal five damage twice on slay gain. I, I kind of like this because it's going to give us a lot of infusion immediately. Especially if it gets a kill. It, it's an insane energy gain that allows us to play extract after that. I think we'll go um, concealed caverns and look for a relic as opposed to buying one. Or sorry, look and buy a relic as opposed to get a random one for free. And now we have uh, an interesting choice. We can start on the middle floor if we make a unit smaller. Um, if we make a unit larger, it's pretty good. <laughs> it solves the damage problem we're having and gives them more health. And we don't really need Keeper of Echoes anyways. One big multi-striking unit is probably good enough. We 
make it smaller, you can dupe it. It doesn't matter. If any, you know what, if anything, Keeper of Echo smaller duping would be a little bit better. Because we don't care about the Husk Hermit being duplicated. We're only going to put, like, if, we, okay, here's, here's the reason why. Let's say you have two Husk Hermits. They both deal 15 times 3. You put plus 15 on one of them. Now they're 30 times 3 and 15 times 3. You put, you put plus 15 on the other one. Now they're both 30 times 3. What's the difference between doing that and just putting plus 15 on one of them twice? You get the same amount of damage. You're just focusing it all, it all on one unit to keep alive instead of two units to keep alive. Now... Doubling up on the Keeper does mean you get better Inspiration triggers and more base damage off of per shard on the Keeper, and then you get more attacks from the Keeper, buffing everything else. So, doubling up on the Keeper could be good with a Duplicator later, and we haven't even melded anything into the unit. So it's not going to increase our Packed Shards. Or... You just make him a 45, so even without being buffed, he's still doing good damage. This is better immediately. This is better long term. And you have to dupe it. We're not really duping anything else, though. Fifty HP is also kind of nice. All right, I'll make a small one, but I really wanted to make a large one. But I always make them large, and I always regret it. At the start of battle, add two to each floor. This is what we need. This is also what we need. This is all what we need. Can we? How much? What can we buy? <laughs> we can buy two relics. Um, we're gonna buy in case divinity, and we're gonna buy base charge. Cause th my whole problem so far is I can't play my echo transfers when they show up. This solves the problem, this makes it even better. Although this is just a heal on our champion every turn, which is probably even better. Because one echo that can't be removed means I can even... I can't play echo transfer. So you know what? I will take this. Fantastic choices. I can't get a third relic, unfortunately. But those are like exactly what I wanted. Well, exactly what I needed. I didn't even know I wanted them. I just knew I needed them. But this solves all of my problem, and we can even go on the top floor now, because I can play... Like, look at this draw. This would be impossible to work with if we didn't have the innate capacity here. Because right now, I can buff you, get a regen, buff it again, get the regen, echo infusion, get another one. Now we're, like, set. Don't play any spells up here, okay? So this is going to be a lot of infusion killing. Infuse, extract, deal five damage twice on slay, gain two. Seems okay. We need quickness, and we need to consume some regen pretty soon. But if I need to, I can just, uh, you know, daze this guy. Or... You know what? It is worth playing it because you get one infusion back, and then we also get the energy so we can play the other uh, regen. So there you go. Don't summon a unit. Okay. Why don't we do this? And then this? And then this. Man, those relics made a huge difference in how I feel about this. Like, hue edge difference. Because now, now it's just play all of your infusions on the same floor as your units every turn. Do that and you win. And if you can, stack up as much regen when possible. We're doing 300 damage a turn. Our Husk Her Hermit is being amazing. Probably we'll go um, energy after, or card draw after this. 
Because when we get Echo Transfers, we get so much energy out of it, we can play whatever we want. You know... You know what? You're going to be dazed when you move up a floor. What a, what a great combat that ended up being. Yeah. Huge difference. What a dif- What a difference a relic makes. Trinket, artifact, or item. <laughs> Even unearthed remains. No, Wormkin etchings, you can bring back all of your regents and play them again. Pretty good. We don't need another capacity. I'd rather just get all of my regens back in a long fight. And then we'll go card draw. We will duplicate a unit. We don't have to do it now. We could do it later. Uh, I would kind of... I would like to upgrade spells, we, but we don't have money. So we're going to go to the right. We are going to duplicate something. And well, I guess we know what we're going to duplicate, probably. Dump some train stewards. The cult of it, uh, the extra draw. For 20 HP, we get extra draw. And cultivation, which can heal himself and buff the damage of units. Yeah, you know. I think I'll split. Trap Shoot or Steel Pulley Claw. Probably the one that's free. I'll do it. Regen restores more, units are cheaper. You know, we actually have expensive units, especially if we double the Keeper. So making all of our units free makes them real easy to get out. That being said, double regen is really good to keep your units alive because we have very little other healing. So I got to admit the regen is extremely tempting because we we have 20 regen out of Wildwood Saps that'll turn into 40 healing per turn. Once we get quick out there, though, the enemies die real fast, but we still need to be able to keep our units alive. I'm gonna go units cost minus two. The regen is real good, but I think since I'm gonna double up on the keeper, and I'm just gonna do it now since we know we're gonna do it eventually anyways. Oh right, no pack shards, because he wasn't actually uh, melded yet. Maybe we should have waited, but I don't know. I don't want to put a train steward inside of him just to meld him. I think this will work. We do enough damage with the sweep. Um, I want I want to be able to have the energy to play the units, and now we can play on the top floor for a couple more combats. Maybe even the last combat if we can get this um, days cycling around, because if we can remove sweep, all of a sudden we can play top floor by time, stack up stats before enemies come out. Even now, I'm like, you know what? This is, this seems definitely like a fight where we want to go top four. Do you get moved to the back or are you in the front? Oh, I don't know what I want to do there. I mean, I'm going to play it. The question is where? Well, we want to get quick. Let's slow you down. Because when we get quick, you're just going to die to sweep. I'd, I'd want to, I want to kill you one of these days, you know? I want to... I want to kill you and get my gold. But I can't. Because you're annoying. But I might be able to daze you. So, like, give me a second. There, stick around, buddy. Stick around, old pal. Old buddy, old pal. Okay, there's damage. 
one more echo break and we, oh, you, I healed you, so I can't kill you in one echo break. It's gotta be two echo breaks now. I could daze you for another two turns. That's funny. Or I could Revenge of the Damned, which would work. And give us one energy back, but we wouldn't use the echoes at all. Honestly, like, whatever. We could trap shoot three times. Yeah? All right. I mean, I'd rather do that than, uh, you know, triple uh, quickness. We could just trap shoot you and then, like, the multi strikers to the bottom, or maybe you just to buy us some time to kill you. Maybe you, because you're a spiker. <laughs> okay. Start. Just kill him. Thank you. Buff. Give me some regen, it'll stick around. I'm gonna drop you to the bottom. I'm gonna drop you to the bottom because then we'll kill you. There you go, do it like that. I'm assuming that every turn we're gonna get something that allows us to buff our damage here. We're already at the point where everything is dying. So quickness, now you're not dying, beautiful, because you know this unit here is doing 60. I still haven't played it. Maybe we'll we'll guild this card. <laughs> I just haven't had a need to play it really. We're not really cultivating off of the champion, but I really just have it for the draw. Okay, good, 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 good. I mean, the Husk Hermit is killing, like, literally everything. Well, now's the time. I don't know, don't need the gold, really. I think we just keep going. Lexmer, have a good night. Thanks for being here. Seems good. Uh, uh, uh. Get some cash. <laughs> I need to upgrade cards. <laughs> I'm still wary. Let's do an upgrade. Uh, I don't care about any of this. Skip. I don't care about any of this. Skip. Unearthed remains, maybe, but it really does not matter. We're gonna go left. Is there anything worth duplicating? No, we. I'd, I'd prefer to have upgrades at this point. We have not upgraded spells at all. At all, at all. Permafrost. Eggs. Oh good, more infused cards. Seven energy turn one. We don't need it, otherwise it could be interesting. We don't need consume damage either. Like if anything, the only thing we really need is spell chain. Buff another one of those, why not? And then ideally hold over on the days would be nice, but frozen on it is also good. Double stack is also good, but I mean, when it comes in, we'll just play it because it's free anyway, so we don't need to permafrost it. What do we need to permafrost? Wildwood tome or wormkin etching etchings are good. I would like good temporary restores, and I would like focused growth to be a lot cheaper. Maybe nothing. Revenge could be good because then it's more likely to get the kill when we need it, but. We can probably engineer a kill with it anyways. So, uh... Did I buy anything from here? We don't need any of this. Card removal is probably what we're gonna buy then, so let's save the money. Okay, I mean, yeah, 
Double stack soul crushing guilt. And then we're gonna make it free because it needs to be played. But now we can stow we can start top floor in divinity if we want. <laughs> Train stewards can go, even though, you know, they do consume from your deck when you play them. I'd rather just not have them. And then base level restores are pretty bad as well. I mean, essentially, we play consume heals to keep ourselves alive, and then once we get enough quickness, we just kill the enemies with quickness. We're at exactly 100 pack shards. Why mess with it? And you are a huge piece of garbage. I don't know how we're gonna deal with you. We play a lot of spells, we summon, you know, several units. You get stronger every time I do a damn thing. We're gonna start up here. I'm not gonna play a spell on you. Why do you have 30? Oh, you have rage. Why are you 25? Oh, because your pack shard enhanced. <laughs> Yeah, and you also, you melee weakness, which almost kills my champion in one hit every time you summon. So you're just like the biggest jerk. So we're gonna take 30 and then another 30. We're gonna take 60 damage. We, we gotta play you. We gotta play you. Man, this kind of blows. Um, okay, how many how many regens can we play and not die? We're currently taking 65 damage. Why does it say 64? Why are you why are you gaining one? Oh, cultivation. You're gonna heal yourself for one on the second hit. Okay. So again, how many re- If I play this, it'll kill the frontline unit, but then we'll take 72 directly. I think we can play this twice. Because we're only taking 65, that'll be 66, that'll be 67. But like I gotta I gotta keep this unit alive for a while. And then I think we trap shoot you. It buys us one more turn to get to quickness. Because once we get quickness, these units are gonna die. But we're still gonna get hit for like 70 damage every time we get melee weakness, which just blows. I mean, this is like the worst boss in the game. <laughs> Highly annoying, but we'll try. I mean, it's another reason why. We have this daze in our deck, because with the daze in our deck, maybe I can just daze you and kill you without you ever attacking, ever. So like, not enough. Okay, well, you know what? Now it's enough. So we're just gonna daze the crap out of you and hope that's enough. We're gonna hopefully never let any enemies ever attack us ever again, and that's the only way we're gonna try to win this. <laughs> Works for me, right? What what what's consumed? Sap, sap, trap, shoot. You know what? Sap. And then just give me a worm can etchings. We know what our next turn's gonna be. I mean, dare I say it, but it's kind of working. We don't need this. No, no, we do. We need to play it on you. We're doing just barely enough damage to stop enemies from attacking, and then we're just gonna daze you until you die. <laughs> so, if he never attacks, it doesn't matter how many times we uh, encant. In fact, we want to encant as many times as possible for as much damage. So there you go. 
Mother of Zerg says, I don't know if it said hi or not, but hello. Hello! Mother of Zerg, how you doing? You laughed at me for double spell chain echo transfer. Well, look at me now, Dad. Okay, we have 156 HP now. Maybe we could let him attack us a few times. I mean, well, we do have, this next unit will take, oh sorry, this unit will take 6x combat damage the next time it's attacked. All right, so if he attacked me, he would do, what's six times 44? 264 damage, roughly. Well, I guess we're just never gonna let him attack then. Well, he's got 10 turns of days at least. I will admit, Daze is a little OP, as is stealth. But, you know, it works. Shh, don't tell the game devs, they'll nerf it. Anyone need quickness? Nope, just you. All right. So there's 13 turns of days. Oh, got another one. Let's see, we're, we have 100 damage on our champion. <laughs> we're doing 1,000 plus another like five, we're doing like 1,500 damage per turn. We only need two days. I only need one day to kill you, today. So we should be in the clear now. And top floor divinity is still on the table as well. Depends what we draw. But I'm probably gonna go for it. Because we can always, if we have to, we can always, oh, this is pretty bad. Pretty bad with the Wildwood Tome. It's only nine damage. <sighs> Having to wait for the quickness is so annoying, but we'll get through the deck. We got both of our other units now. They gotta go out there. They gotta go out there. Once we get days, it'll be a lot easier. And, you know, hopefully we can just not die to these units. So let's make sure that. Ah. Trap shoot on you is what we're gonna have to do. I could ensnare you for a turn to buy a little bit more time. Because once we get back around, things are gonna die to the quickness. We just have to get there. Okay, Th that's your first play. Get rid of the, the sweep. Although I guess I could, I could hit you and stop you, but it's more important to stop the sweep. Buys us a lot of time, then. probably just do like a quick heal. We need draw more than anything else. You being dazed does not matter. No one being here dazed matters. No one being here dazed matters. You get stronger, it doesn't matter. It's gonna keep the daze going there. Keep the regen going. Da -da 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 -da. Gazebo says, I just got my first rainbow chest. It had a fuse and it didn't have keys, so it blew up. <laughs> I hope you uh, didn't forget that you can, you know, put out wicks from chests. Need more damage. We will draw quickness within two turns. So I think... I just... 
I do think I daze you. I don't want you to do 50 damage because of the amount of damage that's actually incoming. We have seven turns on him already, which is more than enough. He's already dead within 10 turns. So I'm going to daze you, saves 50 damage. Everything here is still dying? Well, in that case, let's, um, that doesn't matter if we get it back up to full health now. We're gonna play up here. We have a nine-tenths chance of drawing quick. There it is, okay. Good. We played the odds a little bit, but we, uh, managed to get what we needed. You know what, that'll kill you. The fact that it hits twice is so nice because it can get around Spell Shield, which I am appreciating more and more lately. Um, consume cards on top? Why not? Well, here's the answer to why not. We actually need to shuffle and get to Echo Transfers because we need to do damage for this guy. So we should not play Wormkin Etchings. We should instead play everything else. Health is not a problem anymore because of quickness. We need damage. We need to do like 600 damage on this turn. And we are do we are there already. So, and now we're at the point where the enemies don't even get to attack. It's like, it, it happens quickly in Monster Train. You go from, mm, I don't know if we can survive this. It's gonna be very close to, ah, enemies can't even attack us. Boss is taking 800 damage every turn. Every unit's at full HP. Boss is dazed for 12 turns. <laughs> are you adding garbage to my deck or are you getting stronger? You just add garbage on, on death? You're much easier than the other, oh, because you sweep. That's why you're probably the way you are. really hurting that much. Are you dead yet? You have 33 HP! You're dazed for 16 turns. I'm so sorry. We're, we're only doing 200 damage to this guy because you're dead. Stop, he's already dead. All right, that was pretty easy, actually. Had some very good upgrades early in this run. I mean, that's kind of just what you get for getting good shops, you know? We had two multi-strike within the first two shops. At that point, you know, we probably didn't even need uh, days. Like, we probably would have been okay without it, but it certainly helped on Seraph, which would have been the big problem of the run. But, you know, we got a lot of multi-strike, which meant that we had the damage that we needed to survive. I would have loved to have put all the multi-strike on Husk Hermit, but... Oh, times four would have been real good, but we did get a, a second multi-strike on him, thanks to Pyrestone Housing. Good run. I, I like the path that we had, the upgrades we took. We got very lucky with Relics. Carving Koroska, insanely good with Wormkin because of the Wormkin buff cards, and then we picked up enough Echoes to actually use our cards from the beginning. We didn't need regen. I was correct by taking cheaper units because the most important thing was getting the units out there with the energy that you have. Once you play your, your units, they don't die because you do so much damage quick. Good run! For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at any of the links below in the vid video. Support any of the links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Monster Train.